to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is three months out. So we're going to be looking at your life in three months and then also some of what will get us to where we're going over the next three months. So with that said, for reading selection, you have reading number one with the tiger's eye, reading number two with the rose quartz, reading number three with the lapis, reading number four with the amethyst, and reading number five with the red jasper. If you already have an intuitive selection method chosen, go ahead and pause the video, make your choice, and I'll see you in your reading. For anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking which reading is for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, slowly release. Now a number between one and five or one of the crystals may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the tiger's eye. All right, you guys start off with justice. So within three months time, you can expect to be coming into balance, whether you're balancing work and play, you're balancing you know, passion and emotion, Whatever it is, you're coming into balance in the next three months' time. Now, let's see where you will be in three months. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the future of group number one in three months' time. Okay, let's see what's going on. King of Coins. Wow, that's very... Um, that's very stable financial foundations for most of you. Page of Cups. That's fun and socializing. So you guys are having a good time three months from now. Palace of Cups. That kind of suggests that maybe you still will need some meditation to figure out exactly what you want on an emotional level. And the Magician. So this is you figuring out what you want and this is you manifesting it. So you're going to be in a wonderful manifestation phase three months from now. You're going to be more financially stable. You're going to be having more social events. Definitely the need to meditate to figure out what you want on an emotional level. And then you're going to manifest it for yourself. Now let's take a look at the transparent tarot to see how you get here from where you are now. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us through the transparent tarot, showing the path into 
this wonderful financial stability, the socialization, the manifestation, what events happen along the path to bring pile one into this energy? All right. Okay, so you start with the Page of Wands. For some of you, this is a reunion with somebody. So sometime in the next three months, you'll be reuniting with someone that's gonna have a profound you know, effect on your life. That's not for everyone, okay? That's just some of you are gonna be going back and uh, catching up with someone you've known before. Now, the magician comes out again. You are manifesting not just in three months, but starting now and going to the three month point. That's how you get this king of coins here. You are going to be more financially stable. Now, the tower comes out next, so you're gonna go through significant change in the next, you know, for the next three months to get into this beautiful energy. You also bring out the eight of swords, so you may feel stuck right now. You may feel like it, it's not possible to get to a financially stable place, to get to a socially happy place, but it is. You're going to manifest it. We'll see how you step out of that eight of swords. And then finally, you get the queen of coins. The queen of coins wants for nothing and she shares what she has. So you guys are going to be sharing the wonderful blessings that of material things that come into your life from this manifestation. Now, I would like to get you an angel card before I pull Oracle for all the tarot. So angels, for the best benefit of group number one over the next three months, silence your thoughts. Okay, that's kind of the second time we're hearing that you need to meditate just a little bit. So meditate, make sure you know what you want. You have to know what you want before you can manifest it. And this magician means whether or not you're trying, you are manifesting. You can use all of your skills. That's why all the suits of the tarot are here. You can use all of your skills to manifest. And you've seen the magician twice. The magician was here and then the dragons are the magician in the transparent tarot. So you really are manifesting. Now, I would like to start with Moonology for that Palace of Cups. That's you meditating to see what you want emotionally. And it comes with what do you need to release? So again, with the meditation, make sure you're releasing any negative thought forms that you encounter you know, really figure out what you want and release what doesn't serve you for that purpose. All right, now for the King of Coins, let's get Queen of the Moon. So for the King of Coins, will. Yeah, no, your will is going to drive you into this King of Coins. This is a very financially stable energy. It's, you know, having things taken care of. It's a very generous energy and your will is gonna propel you into this in the next three months. Now, I would also like to see the Page of Cups fruition. All right, this is gonna come to fruition. There's gonna be more socializing. There's gonna be more fun. There is gonna be, you know, getting to go out and do the things that you like. This is coming to fruition. Now, for the Magician, we'll get the Spellcasting Oracle. So what is there to add to the Magician? Compassion. Yes, absolutely. Manifestation needs to be paired with compassion and gratitude. Be compassionate to yourself. Be compassionate to those around you. And definitely bring in the gratitude for what you're receiving. This compassion, it it's you pouring your compassion out on the world, but not really saving some for yourself. So you just need to make sure that you treat yourself with the same compassion you would treat your best friend. All right, now let's see what the Spellcasting Oracle has for the Transparent Tarot. Empowerment, yes, you are absolutely empowered. You are the one that is driving this forward. Remember, this Transparent Tarot was how we get to the three month mark. This is what we do in the, in the interim. And you are absolutely empowered. You're going to manifest exactly what you want. Now, let's see what the 
Let's see what the spirit guides have to add to your reading. Choose love over fear. Yeah, don't be afraid. Choose love and step into it with your full confidence because this looks beautiful. You're going to a wonderful, wonderful segment of your life. Now, let's see which crystal you should work with. Aquamarine, go with the flow. So you can put a piece of aquamarine in your pocket. Um, for some of you, it's the message to go with the flow. You know, let things flow freely and you'll step into beautiful blessings. Now, let's see what the tiny star seed deck has to add. Ooh, you start with strength. You're being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. Absolutely. Things look fantastic in three months for you. And it's not like you're going through bad things to get there. Yeah, you've got the tower in there, but that's just change. Change can be very good. You can be changing from a situation that you don't like into a situation that you do like. And with the justice card leading the way, you're going to be coming into balance as well. Now, let's see. Out of the little star seed oracle. Okay, we'll cut to them. Meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. All right, so that's our third time hearing meditate. So meditation is going to be important. You need to give your mind some time to figure out what you want, to figure out what's guiding you. And next you get release. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. So what do you need to release? Release, there's definitely releasing of things that don't serve you over the next three months time so you can step into this really beautiful energy here all right that is all i have for reading number one today thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button i really appreciate it until next time love light courage and strength to each and every one of you bye bye Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the rose quartz. All right, let's see where we start. We start with finding. So you're going to be finding something fantastic in three months time. It's, uh, I mean, just look at all the joy there is in the yellow in this card. You're going to be finding joy in the next three months. So let's take a look and see where you'll be. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please speak to us clearly through the cards showing where group number two will be in three months' time. All right. All right, so we start with death. So something significant is ending for the rebirth of something else. Palace of Wands. So you're living in a place of your passions in three months' time. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Some of you are going to be receiving a romantic proposal. And the Four of Wands. Some of you are stepping into marriage. Yeah, this looks like a serious relationship here going on in about three months. You're very passionate about it. You're going to be finding, you know, your someone. The, the death is probably the end of your, um, the end of your time alone. The end of your time... You know, it could be the end of a relationship you're in currently that's going to lead to another relationship. But uh, but it also could be just the alone time you're spending. It'll be gone because you're in this beautiful, passionate relationship that is leading to marriage. Now, let's see what happens over the next three months to take you to this point. Okay, so angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the transparent tarot, showing the events of the next three months to bring them into this wonderful energy. Now, I'm going to shuffle till the deck feels ready, and then we'll draw three to five cards after I cut. All right. Look at that. The Four of Wands comes out again as your very first card. This looks like, I mean, this is doors opening. This leads to marriage and the Four of Wands. If you're already married, then um, 
well, then this may not be the reading for you because this, this feels like somebody who is alone right now and is finding someone. The Queen of Wands is stepping into your authentic self. The Two of Pentacles is deciding where you're going to spend your money, who you're going to live with, that sort of thing. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning of an emotional sort. So, like I said, something is ending, and it seems like it's your alone time that's ending. Um, if you're not in a happy relationship, it may be that relationship that's ending. Now, Four of Coins comes, uh, comes out and talks about stable financial foundations, but it also talks to, about clinging to your money a little too tightly. And then finally, this beautiful Eight of Cups, which is you stepping into something better. You know, whatever, it, it, whatever situation your life is in right now, you are going to be somewhere better. You're going to be stepping into something better, but something has to end. The Eight of Cups also carries an ending with it, just like the Death card has an ending to it. So something is ending, but you're stepping into this beautiful Ace of Cups. You are finding a wonderful relationship, many of you. Um, for some of you, this if you're married and this still resonates, it could be that you are stepping into a wonderful project that is going to just, you know, lighten your life. It's going to be fantastic. Now, let's see what the angels have to add to your reading. Seek within. All right. So that means look inside, do some meditating, make sure you're on the path you want to be on. Now, let's see here. I would like to get Moonology starting with death. So something's ending for a new beginning. What is there to add? A win-win outcome is forecast. All right. So you are going to win. This is going to feel like a victory to you. Whatever ends, it's going to be a victorious thing. Now, let's see what Queen of the Moon has for that Palace of Wands. Sovereignty. Okay, so you are, in, in three months, you are reigning sovereign over your passionate home life. You know, this the palace represents where you live. It's in a place of your passions, and that doesn't necessarily mean you know, where you actually live, you know, like your house. It's your life. Your life is full of passion, and you are the sovereign one over it. Now, I would also like Queen of the Moon for the Knight of Cups. Realization. Okay, so this is a romantic proposal. You probably already know this person. You know, this may be like a longtime friendship that's turning into something romantic for some of you, because there's realization as this proposal comes. Now, let's see what the Spellcasting Oracle has to say for that Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is doors opening. It is the marriage card. Oh, and it's home. Okay, yeah, you're going to have a beautiful home life in three months' time. You know, this is going to be beautiful. And you're not really going through anything negative here to get there. You know, you are stepping into your true authentic self and letting things end so that you can step into something better. Now, I like the spellcasting oracle for the transparent tarot as well. Career. Okay. For some of you, this is a love relationship with your career. Okay. It looks like, like passionate love everywhere, but with this career coming out, it's saying, hey, you're going to be moving into something better. So whether it is a promotion, whether it is stepping into a career change that better suits your life path, your soul journey, whatever it is, your career is headed in a fantastic direction. Okay. Sorry, I needed a little drink. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add. <clears throat> set your intentions. Absolutely. Set your intentions now of what you want to manifest. Like some of you, this is definitely a relationship. Some of you, it is definitely your career. Set your intentions on what you want. Let whatever needs to end, end so that this beautiful energy can come in. 
Now, I'd like to see what crystal they should be working with for the next three months. So this can either be the message on the crystal card or it can be the crystal itself. Appetite, get out of your comfort zone. Okay, so some of you have to get out of that comfort zone. You have to step into this beautiful, passionate energy. And, you know, it's the appetite crystal, so maybe slip a little piece of it into your pocket for the next three months and see what direction it takes you. Now, let's see what the little star seed deck has to add to your reading. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number two, you get observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. All right, I'm going to put that over here with the seek within that is, you know, that's some meditation. That's some observing of nature. You're going to find peace in it for certain. Now, let's see what else. You get patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. All right, so whatever needs to end is going to end. Be patient as the new comes in. You know, there is, it's just, you know, patience. It also, with the patience coming out and this being a three month reading, you may be looking at four months or five months. You know, it's saying, you know, you've got to be patient with this. And then finally, you get magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. Yes, you are absolutely enough. You deserve this wonderful energy that's coming in, the passionate energy, whether it's for your career or for your soulmate. It is really a beautiful, beautiful energy. That is all I have for group number two today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with a lapis lazuli cube. All right, let's see where we start. We start with courage. So your courage is a significant factor in your life in three months' time. Now, let's see where you'll be in three months. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us through the cards the future of group number three in three months' time. Page of Cups, so that's fun, socializing, good times. Ooh, Two of Wands, that's romantic and creative partnerships flourishing. The sun, beautiful, absolute growth. It's the brightest card in the deck. And then the king of wands, that is so beautiful. There is absolutely nothing negative going on here. This is great. The king of wands, it either represents a really passionate person in your life or you being a very passionate person. It can also represent stepping into a creative project you know, something that really inspires you and, you know, dives with your passions. And it, it says people will follow you. Like, you've got tons of growth. You know, some of you may be um, writers or um, musicians or, you know, something creative like that. And you're going to have people following you. It's, it's going to be great. You could start your own channel and you're going to have lots of lots of people interested in what you have to say. So whatever this represents to you, it's a beautiful energy. Now let's see how you get there. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the next three months so that we can see how they step into this beautiful energy. All right, I'll shuffle until it feels ready, and then we'll cut and deal right off the top, taking three to six cards. Okay. You've got the two of wands again. Beautiful. All right, so your creative and romantic partnerships are absolutely flourishing. Now, the seven of pentacles comes out next. 
that talks about waiting to reap the rewards of the work that you've put in. The sun again. Okay, this, I cannot express how brilliantly bright this reading is. Okay, this is, you know, the sun is where I'm going to stop because the sun is absolute growth and it's shown up twice in your reading. So you are going through a wonderful, wonderful phase of changes in your life that is going to absolutely grow you know, you're, it's going to allow for growth on all aspects of you, you know, spiritually and mentally and everything you're, you're going to be experiencing growth. Now let's see what the angels add. Be content. Yes, you should absolutely be content with this. This is a fantastic reading. I just, I can't express the the positivity of it. So yes, be content with what you have. Make sure you're grateful now, I would like to see Moonology for this Two of Wands. Two of Wands was the creative romantic partnerships flourishing. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so just because you're told things are going to work out doesn't mean you don't need an actual plan. So whatever, whatever it is that you're desiring to step into is going to be what you step into here. Whether it's, you know, career jumps, whether it is, you know, romantic relationships, you still need a plan of action to step into this energy. Now, let's see what Queen of the Moon says for the Page of Cups. Surrender. Okay, yeah, you've got to surrender to this. This is you going out and having fun and talking to people and being in, engaged with people. You know, it's a kind of a social butterfly card and you're being asked to surrender to it. So, excuse me, I needed a drink. So you just have this energy that you need to surrender to this, you know, very fun, I mean, it, the universe is bringing it to you. So you have to, uh, you have to accept it. And acceptance would be, you know, indulging in it. Now, I would like to see Queen of the Moon for the sun. Gratitude. Yes, absolutely. Gratitude. Like I said that with the be content, you've got two suns coming out here. You are just like destined for awesomeness. So make sure you're grateful for all of the blessings that are headed your way. Now, I would also like Queen of the Moon for the King of Wands. Realization. So you guys are going to realize what this King of Wands is to you. That's why I gave so many examples of it. Because it's different for all of you. But it's stepping into this super passionate energy which just, and, and people following you, like it holds the note that people are going to follow you like they would follow a king, you know? So it's, you know, it's a beautiful realization of what this is for you. Now let's take a look at the spell casting Oracle for the transparent tarot. Truth. All right. Yeah. You are stepping into your truth. It is truly a, I mean, it's, you've got the beautiful sun coming out with truth. The sun is rising in this mirror. The sun is rising on you. You are stepping into wonderful, fantastic things. You have to take your courage. I sense there may be some social anxiety here with you guys earlier. So just surrender to the universe and try to and I'm not a I'm not a doctor I'm nothing like that not a medical professional so please just understand that I'm saying you know there we all feel social anxiety at some point surrender to the fun of it and don't be afraid now and if you believe that you need assistance from any type of professional please seek it now let's see what your spirit guide card adds patience is a virtue okay 
So you've got to be patient. That means also, since this is a three month reading and you've got the patients coming out, it may be a little further out. It may be like four months or five months, something like that. Now, let's see what crystal you should work with. These messages can be the message on the crystal, or it can be advice to actually work with the crystal. Unikite, live in the now. Yeah, live in the moment. Just enjoy it. It looks so amazingly fantastic. Um, yeah, just enjoy the ride. This is going to be a fantastic time period for you. Now, what does the little star seed deck have to add? Okay, one more, please. Okay. You start with meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. I'm going to put that on this realization here. You meditate, you're going to definitely figure out what that King of Wands is for you. Now, next you get freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. Okay, yeah, no, you need to surrender. You need to follow your heart and, you know, love yourself the way you love your best friend. Finally, you get strength. You are being guided by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. Absolutely, it is assured. You've got the sun coming out twice. I wish this was my reading. Like, this is fantastic. So, anyhow, that's all I have for group number three today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the purple amethyst. All right, let's see where we start. Dreams. Okay, so in three months time, your dreams are going to be playing a significant factor in your life. Now, let's see from the tarot of dreams what the situation looks like in three months. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors... Please speak to us clearly through the cards, showing what life will be like for group number four in three months. Okay. Nine of Wands. Two of Coins. Five of Cups. And three of Coins. Okay. So there are some energies in the three month time frame that suggest maybe you're gonna be making a sacrifice you don't need to make. You're gonna be making decisions about where you spend your money, who you live with, where you live, that sort of thing. Um, but it also implies that you have the money to make the decisions with. Now, the Five of Cups suggests looking at what you've lost versus looking at what you have. So it's just kind of a reminder to keep gratitude in there for what you do have and don't focus on the losses because new, better things are coming in. The Three of Coins is you being appreciated at work. It's, uh, I mean, wherever you put your energy. Like some of you don't have the typical job, but some of you do have a typical job. And this is you being appreciated wherever you put your energy, wherever you put your, your work. So in three months' time, you're going to be being appreciated. You're going to be able to make the decisions you want about where you're going to live and that sort of thing. But, uh, but we'll see what Oracle takes us out of this Five of Cups energy. First, I want to take a look at the Transparent Tarot, though. The Transparent Tarot is whatever happens from now through the three month time to get you into these energies. So what situations are they going to deal with in the next three months time that bring them into these energies? Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so you have the six of wands. You're gonna experience victory somewhere. 
it's going to start something brand new. Like this is almost right now. It's a brand new beginning you're passionate about. This Knight of Cups comes out, looks like a proposal. It could be a, a work proposal or it could be a romantic proposal. The Queen of Wands steps out. That's you stepping into your more authentic self. And then also the Hermit. So the Hermit is some alone time, but it's productive alone time. It feels like a lot of you, this is focusing on your career or what you do for a living. It is saying, you know, step into the more authentic you, follow your path, whatever this Ace of Wands is for you. It is a new beginning that you're really passionate about and you're gonna be victorious. All of that happens to bring you into this energy. So you're just being reminded, hey, don't sacrifice things you don't need to sacrifice and try to look at what you have because you have some wonderful things to be grateful for. Now, let's see what the angel deck has to add. <clears throat> be discerning. Okay, follow your gut. So definitely as you step into these proposals, whatever they are, whether they're you know, work promotions, whether they are romantic proposals, be discerning with them. You know, follow your gut. If it, if it feels like it's too good to be true, it probably is, you know? If it feels like it's the, the right fit for you, it probably is. So just be discerning. Now, let's see what Moonology has to say for this Five of Cups. How do they step out of this Five of Cups energy? Balance spirituality and practicality. Okay, so... If you are really, really feeling depressed and whatnot, there are practical solutions. Um you can talk to some form of professional. For some of you, that is gonna be your balance that comes in. For others, this is just saying, hey, remember to be practical with what you desire. You have many things to be grateful for. So just, you know, focus on your gratitude. Now for the Nine of Wands, you get bring love into the situation. So that's you making a sacrifice somewhere. You need to bring love into that situation and you need to show love to yourself as well. Now let's see what the two of coins draws out of Queen of the Moon. Patience, okay. So this is the third reading that has had the Patience card come out. So I'm going to just say very clearly, this doesn't necessarily, well, first off, if you don't want it to happen, it doesn't have to happen. You have to step into these energies for this to manifest this way. But the patience card comes out to say that it may not be exactly three months. It may be four months. It may be five months. So just, you know, take it as it resonates with you. Now, the three of coins, you get balance. Okay, so it's definitely going to be balanced. I don't think you've been appreciated for the work that you're putting in until just recently or not even yet, like you're getting ready to step into it, but it's gonna bring in some balance. Sorry, I needed a drink. All right, let's take a look at the transparent tarot with the spell casting oracle commitment okay so yeah there there are commitments here you are making commitments to your jobs some of you you are making commitments to other people this knight of cups is you know it it suggests a romantic proposal for some of you and you're gonna be stepping into this commitment. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add. Everyone has value. Yes, do not devalue yourself, please. 
you are a valuable person. The person that you're interacting with is a valuable person. Everyone has value. Everyone brings something to the table. So really appreciate yourself and, and those around you. Now let's see what crystal will be the best for you for the next three months. Agate, get back into balance. Okay, so you've got balance and balance and balance now. So you definitely need to balance, you know, emotion with passion. You need to balance work and play. You know, there's definite balance that needs to come in. So just, you know, take it as it resonates for you. But, uh, but you need to take good care of yourself and, and make sure you bring yourself back into balance. Now let's see what the little star seed deck has to add. Earth guide, your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. That's so true. So just, you know, focus on the love in the situation. Now, what else? Surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome and just be with life in this present moment. All right. So, yeah, you don't need to control the outcome. The universe is working in your existence. It's working by your guidance of, of how you keep your thoughts. All right, you get transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. All right, this looks fantastic. Um, thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the red jasper. All right, you start with good luck. So in three months time, luck is going to be on your side. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us three months from now for group number five. Okay, Queen of Cups, so that's you in a very emotionally mature energy. Justice, so some balance coming out. The Six of Swords, so you're moving on, but you're taking some of your issues with you. And the Tower, so there's going to be significant change in, you know, in your periphery at the three month point because this is what it kind of looks like three months from now these are the energies you're going to be in you're going to be moving through the tower doesn't necessarily mean a bad change it's just a change the six of swords is moving on it could signify travel in about three months time but it does also say you're kind of bringing your baggage with you now, the balance and justice is beautiful. You know, this could be, um, you know, uh, legal things. I'm not a lawyer, not even going to go into that. But, uh, but this could be something going your way. And then this is you in a really sp spiritually mature, you know, emotionally mature energy. You know, it's it's not really fast moving. It it assesses and uh, and makes good decisions. <laughs> All right, let's see what brings you to this energy. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us what the next three months will look like. So they step into these energies. So. What situations will they deal with? All right. Well, you start with the Ace of Cups. So that's a brand new beginning of an emotional nature. And look at that. You got the Six of Swords again. 
The Six of Swords is you moving on, but you taking some of your problems with you. So try to release whatever it is you need to release. Now the star comes out. That's a gift from the divine. That's healing energy. The Two of Wands comes out and that is partnerships flourishing. And then finally you get the Eight of Pentacles. That's you putting in your hard work. So you are putting in your hard work. Your partnerships are gonna flourish over the next three months. You're gonna put in this work you are gonna move on from where you are into a brand new beginning of an emotional sort, but you're gonna bring just a little bit of that baggage if you're not careful. Like if you don't want to bring that baggage with you, then just decide to release whatever it is you need to release. Whatever it is that doesn't serve you, you can release it. Now, let's see what the angels have to add. Embrace change. Yeah, no, this is change and this is you needing to embrace the changes because you're going to a, a higher level, essentially. You know, you are moving in the right direction for your life path. Now, let's see what the Six of Swords draws out of numerology. So, because we see that twice. Have faith in your dreams, okay? So that could be part of the baggage that you're carrying is just that you don't believe, you don't have faith that it's true, that you can step into your dreams, but you absolutely can. So remember to have faith in your dreams. Now, I also want Moonology for the tower, please. Luck is on your side. Okay, so you've got good luck twice. Things are changing for the better. You're gonna have to put your work in but uh, but things are changing for the better. Now let's get Queen of the Moon for justice. Justice can mean fairness. It normally means balance. All right, you get faith. So you're being told a couple times you need to have faith. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to have faith that you're worthy of what it is you um, desire. And that'll help you step into it. Now, let's see what Queen of the Moon says for the Queen of Cups. Assessing. All right, so you are assessing the situation in three months time. You're looking at it, seeing which way you wanna go. You're being advised to have faith. So have faith that you will step into something beautiful as you go through whatever change this is. Now, let's see Spellcasting Oracle for the Transparent Tarot. Beauty. All right, so this is beautiful. The changes that you're going through are just absolutely beautiful. It, uh, yeah, you are stepping into a beautiful energy. Don't worry about the changes. You're gonna have to embrace change because you're gonna go through some changes. But luck is on your side, absolutely. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add to your reading. Set your intentions. Yeah, absolutely set your intentions because you're manifesting. So set your intentions that whatever this change is, you know, it's taking you to the place you want to go. It's taking you to a beautiful future that you're going to step into with all of your, with all of your skill set, with all of your energy. You know, this is a beautiful, it's a beautiful future. So, and it's a beautiful path there. So set your intentions that, th that this happens for you. Now let's see what the crystal deck has to add. Pyrite, let the money flow in. All right, so you may need to put a piece of pyrite in your pocket. Um, it's not expensive normally. It's normally just a few dollars. And it will help bring in your abundance. Like um, having a money mindset that allows the money to flow in will bring about abundance. There's not really a lot of talk about your abundance here. It's but it, it could be, you know, you, if you are concerned about your abundance, that could definitely be part of this change. Now let's see what the little star seed deck has to add. 
angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the little starseed deck, please. Okay, you start with celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe. Next, you get starseed. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light. And finally, freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. All right, that is all I have for reading number five today. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.